My name is Nikki Byrne. Uh, we're here today in Chagas Grange and we're assessing the body condition score of some of our uh, yearling dairy beef cattle. And really, you know, body condition scoring can be done at any stage during the year and it can be a very good management tool to identify early on in the season animals that might be suitable for finishing towards the end of the grazing season with or without concentrate supplementation or for example with these later maturing type cattle that might be best suited to be finished after uh, a finishing period indoors on silage and concentrate. So really body condition scoring during that second grazing season will allow you a forward plan and target cattle to uh, different management groups and also by getting some cattle drafted by the during or by the end of that second grazing season we can avail of seasonality in terms of higher prices, take pressure off uh, farm buildings and finishing uh, facilities, as well as feedstocks on the farm. So really, you know, assessing body condition score, the weight of the animal is crucially important, but also the breed of that animal, uh, and because that identifies their fleshing ability. Are they early or late mature and type cattle? And that will determine their suitability to finishing from a forage diet or from an indoor forage and concentrate diet. So basically there's a couple of key areas on an animal that we need to assess. And we're assessing the animal for both fat and meat cover. So really we have to handle the animal to get a true reflection. We don't want to look at the animal or be looking down on top of the animal. We want to handle that animal, be standing at ground level with the animal and going across a number of assessment points. So there's a couple of key areas on the animal's body that we need to assess for both fat and meat cover. So really we begin by handling the animal on that rib cage and what we want to see is a nice even distribution of fat cover just over that rib. And then we're moving up onto the line of the animal. This area uh, contains our strip line um, and we want a nice good even cover of fat on that. But as well as that, when we press in short on those short ribs, we want to see good meat cover on them, indicating a, an appropriately uh, sized strip line with a good deep uh, depth of muscle that's going to give us a nicely presented steak from that animal. Then we're going to move back onto the rump of the animal. So just there on the flat of the rump, between the hip bone and the pelvis, we're assessing here, we want to see a nice softness to that. We don't want to see it firm. And moving up into the tail head, we want to see the tail sunken um, sunken into the, the back of the animal and we want to see two little deposits just in there around the pin bones we want to see nice little pockets of fat starting to deposit and as well as that especially on these early maturing animals uh, such as the Hereford that we have here in front of us we'll begin to see the folds of skin start to fill up with fatness so if we look at the brisket of this animal we can see that it's not fully uh, filled out yet uh, not overly plump, but you will see deposits of fat deposit there. Uh, similarly, you will see that happening on, on the scrotum of the animal. You'll see that start to get very plump and fill up with fat as they approach uh, fatness. So really, when we give an overall assessment taken in multiple points in this animal, this animal is about a 3.25, edging towards a 3.5 fat score. However, we know this animal is somewhere in the region of 470 kilos not near where he needs to be in terms of live weight to support the production of uh, a sufficiently heavy carcass. So really, you know, this animal, you know, is probably a good candidate for drafting towards the end of the grazing season uh, to produce an on-spec carcass in terms of weight, fatness and conformation. And really one of the big things, we don't want animals going over fat because animals go over fat their feed conversion efficiency reduces. They become less efficient at utilizing expensive feedstuffs. And I suppose as we move down the chute, we can see a Belgian blue sired animal off a Holstein Frisian cow. Again, going across the rib cage, we can feel a much lighter to the touch cover of fat. Moving up onto the line, and when we press in there on the short ribs and the lumbar, we can feel the ribs are quite protruded on that animal, indicating insufficient fat or muscle depth as of yet to allow for slaughtering. So that animal is going to be going on. We're now in the month of uh, early June. Uh, this animal is probably going to be somewhere around Christmas time after uh, a relatively uh, short period of 60 to 90 days indoors 
uh, will be coming fit for slaughter. On the rump, you can feel he's quite clean, no real softness, and no, the tail is quite um, high on the back, and no pockets of fat depositing in around those pin bones. And you can see on the folds of skin, on the brisket, there's no real uh, fat depositing in that as of yet. And if we look at the scrotum on the animal, in comparison to the Herefords, you know, it's quite tucked up to the animal. There's no excess fat depositing in those folds as of yet. Again, moving on to this animal, uh, uh, sired by a polled Hereford bull. If we look down, you know, a nice long animal, very even cover between the, 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 the rib cage on the line of that animal, good cover of fat and meat, and a similar level of fatness nearly on the rump, and the tail head is just starting to sit a little bit flatter into him. A little bit of fat depositing uh, in around the pin on that animal, um, but look, you can still see there's a little bit of filling out to do on the brisket. That animal is probably a couple of weeks behind the Hereford up at the top, uh, coming in with a body condition score of about three to 3.25. But again, this animal, probably a growthier, rangier type animal, who's not overly fat early on in the summer, an animal that's going to probably have a higher uh, probability of producing an inspect for weight carcass as opposed to the really fleshy Hereford we have up the top of the, the top of the chute. Moving on, another kind of a lighter type uh, Belgian blue sired animal. Again, you know, very consistent over the body, but still, you know, somewhere at about two and a half to 275 of body condition score. And again, really suited to that later finishing after a, a, a period indoors. And really, when we're assessing body condition score, we're scanning over the entire animal. Because if we take it, video image analysis that's used to grade our carcasses for confirmation and fatness, it scans the entire profile of that animal's carcass. So it's really important that we take a similar approach to body condition score assessment. So again, this final Hereford, very similar to the previous, a nice consistent fatness all over the animal. And what's really nice about these, there's good depth. You know, we can feel a nicely rounded um, line on that animal. And we want to see the, the we want to see the line level with the center of the back, that we're not seeing a cavity or a kind of a concave uh, type nature to that there. So we want to see, we don't want to see any daylight between the line and the center of the back. So really, assessing body condition score, we can now, you know, based on the level of fitness of these animals, they can be managed somewhat differently during the grazing season. If we are tight on shed space or feed supply, we know that these animals that have a higher body condition score are candidates that could potentially be finished off grass towards the end of the summer or that would be suitable for uh, supplementing with some concentrate and high quality pasture to produce an on-spec carcass by the end of that summer. Uh, also, another important aspect to consider when identifying animals to supplement uh, for finishing a pasture, you know, we want to target supplement towards those highest terminal type animals. So if we look at animals with high CBV figures, we know from research done here in Grange that they will make better use of that feed and will produce uh, a higher percentage of animals on spec in terms of confirmation, weight and fatness without the need of going indoors for a second winter. So really prioritise you know, your inputs into those higher quality animals when targeting earlier slaughter ages. So typically these animals here could have a range of, of slaughter ages um, anywhere from 19, 20 months up to 23 months of age. There's a different optimum for every animal based on a number of factors. How advanced they are in terms of live weight, fatness, their ability to lay down fat uh, as indicated by their breed maturity. And within the breed, we know that the higher terminal index animals or B sub index or CBV animals, they are going to make the most use out of our feed and deliver a higher profit potential and are animals that will respond best to expensive concentrate inputs.